The water may have been officially cut at 11 last night, but for many in the South District, taps ran dry by as early as three yesterday afternoon. Yesterday evening, Aquajib deployed five water bowsers, one of these here by Cumberland Terraces. Well, since lunchtime yesterday, more or less, uh, I was lucky enough I'm a member of the Galbar Rowing Club, I showered there. But my sister has gone to my granny's to shower. I've been sorry, sort of like pouring with this along the Gavras uh, bottles. I've been brushing my teeth with that. And I've been just bringing spares. I have, what we're doing is we're putting any like little trickle that we get. We're, we're plugging the, the sink so that we can reuse it to wash our hands, our face. Uh, but yeah, I, we haven't been able to wash our clothes. Uh, there are people in Laguna because my mom's boyfriend, he lives in Laguna. Not a drop because of the single, because of the pressure as well. And this morning we phoned my granny, tampoco. Well, this morning we opened at six and it was already gone. So we haven't had any water since. And I own a shop. We need the water desperately because uh, we make a lot of coffees and teas for workers. So, and we've got to clean everything. So I brought two new buckets so that we can use it to wash dishes and, and keep everything clean. It's, it's a bit of a hassle, but I understand it's going to be ready by tomorrow, hopefully. I've had to go and fetch more water from the sales um, warehouse, and uh, hopefully by Monday everything will be back to normal. Also in the South District, a Bowser was set up on Naval Hospital Road, and by this morning it was beginning to run low. Well, I arrived last night at one o'clock in the morning to, uh, to no water, but, you know, we get by. I'm not quite sure what the reason is for it yet. But um, yeah, things happen and we have to get through it. It's part of life's challenges, isn't it? Hombre, porque estoy trabajando, le ayudo a tener Mario malo en cama. Vengo a montarle un tordo y claro, le voy a hacer favor de de cogerle el agua a la mujer que está la pobrecita encerrada en la casa con el Mario. Over in Alameda Estate, the Bowser had already gone dry shortly before we arrived. Residents waiting to see if it would be refilled told us the water shortage had caught them by surprise yesterday afternoon. Since yesterday, 3 p.m. It's been a disaster, honestly, with kids at the elderly here. It's ridiculous that we have that we've come to this point. So, what have you been? Uh, how have you been coping with the situation? Well, basically, just when I, with everyone panic buying, we haven't been able to get hold of much water, but we've, you know, managed with what Akodjib has put down. And uh, I understand it's run out now. Yeah, it has. Because people keep filling up stuff. Obviously, we need water to survive, but it's getting to a ridiculous point. Two Bowsers were also deployed to the Upper Town area, one on Galpe Road and the other at Moorish Castle Estate. However, this morning these appeared to be less in demand. Residents told us some blocks hadn't lost their fresh water and suggested that those buildings which were higher up or even flats that were on higher floors had been most affected by the low water pressure. This morning, Aquajib also began to tackle other areas in Gibraltar, beginning with Westside and Waterport. Rather than issue big containers, they distributed bottles, two per person. However, these two were snapped up, with many left waiting for the Aquajib vans to restock and return. Over the course of the afternoon, bottles were distributed to areas including Beachview Terraces, Glasses Estate and Catalan Bay. But with the high demand and a whole hot and dry weekend ahead, people across Gibraltar are waiting to see when they'll be able to turn their taps on once again.